Hi everyone! Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm back after an absence of about a month or six weeks. Um, I have been really busy, a lot of things going on. Uh, for one thing, my oldest daughter moved out and she got her own apartment. So I've been moving my um, scrapbook and craft supplies into her bedroom. I've been crafting in the uh, dining room for almost two years. So I'm sure my husband's happy about that. Um, so just getting organized, I'm still working on um, you know, getting organized. I do have lots of stuff and I'm just trying to pull everything I can from my closet, you know, other cabinets. So that's probably gonna take me another two weeks. But in the meantime, I had to stop and create some albums. Um, I did four of them and here's uh, the first one that I'm going to show you. Um, I do have them listed in Etsy already, but I'm just trying to get them filmed. So um, this is the first one I um, listed uh, that's new. And um, it's called, my the theme or the title is called uh, So Much Fun um, Girly Mini Album because um, I think it's very girly. Uh, the colors are pinks, um, greens, peaches, uh, cream. So it's a uh, vintage style because you know I like vintage. Um, so anyway, so much for all that talking. Um, here it is. He, here's the, the front cover. The front cover uh, measures about, I think, five and a half this way and five inches down this way. Um, everything is mostly made from chipboard and um, and then a few papers. It's kind of, a, it's also a junk mini album because I do have some other things incorporated in here. Um, it's bound by three rings, the O-rings or binder rings, and it's wrapped with a tool, rickrack, and a bunch of different ribbons. Okay, and um, I have a, a bird bird cage here in the front. Um, you probably can't see this, but it says, uh, sing the song in your heart. Okay. And then here's a flower that I sprayed with some, uh, glimmer mist. Okay. And then the other pages probably measure, I mean, they're all different, um, lengths and widths or sizes, but they're about seven by five, the big pages. Okay. So here we go. Um, I'm trying to go through this really quick. So if you have any questions or comments, if you feel like I left something out, just, you know, please um, write down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Okay. And here's the first page here. And I did use um, different collections, but mostly um, there's one collection I, can't, I think it's called Homespun, and I got it at uh, Walmart. It's really pretty. But I'll put the, um, the title of the, um, the collection if you're interested down below. Okay, anyway, so um, there's a card here, and this is from Bo Bunny. It's a place to put photos. So there's a lot of pages here to put photos and also journaling. Okay, and then this is um, the coffee sleeve. I only have two of these. So whoever buys this, you're getting this one. And there's a quote here from Oprah Winfrey. Um, the only courage you ever need is the courage to live the life you want. I don't know if you can read that. It looks blurry to me. But anyway, so um, pull this out and you can put a photo here. Okay. And here's the next page. And that says, until you spread your wings, you have no idea how far you'll fly. There's a 3D butterfly. And then here's just a page for journaling. Here's a page where you can um, either journal or put a photo. And it says, follow your dreams. It's a stamp. So I have stamp verses throughout the book. Then here's a, a remnant. Um, I also used some pieces of papers that I have left over from other projects. And this is just a little paper clip. This one is from um, a Prima collection. This little fairy here. I think it's Delight. Okay, so the book has um, a sewing theme. It's got butterflies. It has birds. So I'll just kind of, just, you know, a bunch of things that girls would like. And here's this page. It has three tags in there. So great for journaling. Okay, and here's another little page for journaling. And 
And then this is a vellum, and then you open, you pull this out. And it's a card that you can journal or put photos. And that way you can, I love this paper underneath. It has verbiage on there and words. I mean, birds. <laughs> Can't talk. Okay, so that goes back in here. Okay, so here's the next page. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And then this is a packaging material that I had, um, I believe, some die cuts in. And then I just wrapped it, I mean, wrapped it, um, glued scrapbook paper. And this is a tag that my, one of my sisters gave me on a piece of clothing. I think that's so cute. So put that on there. Okay, and then the top here, I put some charms on a safety pin. Here's some cute little dresses on this paper. Okay, and here's an envelope. You can put some things in, little notes or whatever, little pictures. Okay, then here's, um, oops, this fell out. Just this little tag here for journaling. And there's a quote in the back. Okay. And then this is a little paper bag. You can put some more things in there. In the back of the paper bag, it's a little file folder. Okay. There's a, a scrap piece of um, craft paper. There's this page. There's a little heart button I found. And here's two tags for journaling. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I think I hit the camera. Okay, another page for journaling. So, lots of places to write things. There's another tag. There's a place you can put a photo. There's a paper clip with uh, some ribbon. There's that page. Here's this page. This one has three tags. The paper bag I covered with pa uh, scrapbook paper. And here's a tag, and there's some uh, buttons on a safety pin. I love this paper, it's so pretty. There's just a little card here, and then that's the back cover, so you can put more pictures there. And then here's the very back cover. Okay, so it's a pretty good thick book. All right, and um, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, you know, please feel free to post them down at the bottom. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.